water in which organic substances were dissolved, and these organic substances would, according to the theory, um, gradually, under the laws of chemistry, gave rise to a um, self-replicating molecule. Nobody knows how this happened, and people are working on it. Frankie's asking about the Phoenix Mars mission, Richard. He says that they've, they've found possible evidence of life on Mars. Where does this leave the idea of creation? Well, the, the idea that there might be life on Mars is very interesting. Um, one suggestion is that life actually started on Mars and was imported into Earth from Mars. And that's not quite as far-fetched as it sounds because we definitely know that there are asteroids, rocks, which are on Earth, which have come from Mars. So it is, there has been a certain amount of traffic of rocks from Mars to Earth. Um, if there were a genuinely independent origin of life on Mars, if, if, say, we found life on Mars and it didn't have DNA or had DNA but a different DNA code or something of that sort, that would be a simply stunning discovery. If we discover that there's life on Mars and it's the same kind of life, say, bacterial life, as we have here, then that would suggest cross-infection. That would be interesting enough. But if they ever found a completely different kind of life, that would be totally stunning. And it would suggest that life originates relatively easily, whereas I think current orthodoxy would be that the origin of life on this planet was a very rare event. And probably if there is life elsewhere in the universe, there are little islands of life that are far, far separated from each other, so they very seldom encounter each other. Richard, we have some politicians, some leading politicians in Northern...